Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rissa, aka Rissa Explains It All, where I go over business, manifesting, and side hustles. And today I am going to be going over an updated video regarding GoPuff. If you are interested in that, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up button and let's get into it. Okay guys, so the main reason for me wanting to make this video is because my last big video with GoPuff, it is inaccurate and just does not hold the same value as it did then so i wanted to make sure to let people know what's going on with gopuff so that you can actually be prepared and not be expecting to make thousands and thousands of dollars a week okay i made this five months ago watch this before you begin driving with gopuff this is the video i'm talking about i'm gonna see what i go over in this video once okay so before we get started on my old video I want to tell you guys some things that are happening. Um, GoPuff has delayed going public because it's just not a good time for them to go public because I, they're trying to reserve cash and um, we are in possible recession mode here in the United States. So that is also another reason probably why. They also are shutting down lots and lots of warehouses. A lot of drivers are now out of you know driving position jobs warehouse workers, admins, all of that. You can look it up in your local area to see if your warehouse was closed down. There also is an article which you can Google GoPuff layoffs in. Those articles will come up if you wanna read about it. There are multiple factors going on with GoPuff right now in which I called in all of my videos, guys, because even in my first video I ever made, my first shift, I said this is too good to be true. The company will crumble eventually just because that is how all good apps start out. They start out amazing and everyone's ranting and raving and then they go downhill. So that's kind of where GoPuff is headed. They are just going downhill much faster than any other app I've ever seen. Those are a few things to keep in mind. Also, guys, the um, weekly schedules are no more we do not get schedules on Thursday at noon and I also did call that um, what you do now is you select hours that you might want and then on Friday they let you know if you get them or not and most people are not getting any hours you guys and you want to know why you want to know why it is because they are starting the process of forcing everyone to work on demand. The less people who get hours, the more people who are going to show up regardless to work on demand, which I do not recommend unless you are in the busiest market in the United States of America or wherever you are at. It is a little game that they're playing. So I suggest that you don't play the game along with them. If I don't get hours with them, I'm not working. I'm not new to the gig app world. I'm not gonna sit up there and work for $3 a bag and I'm definitely not gonna sit up there and work for no tips. You'll be spending more on gas and maintenance for your car than you might be taking home. They have slashed the bonuses as well as the hourly. The hourly used to be $17.23 when I first started last summer. Then they said it was gonna go down but then it went up to $19.01 which was weird. And then now it is officially at $15.84. And if you do not know, you can make $16 an hour at your local McDonald's in the state of California so you're getting paid less and you're using your gas you're putting miles in your car not saying you want to work at McDonald's not saying there's anything wrong with working at McDonald's but I'm just saying look at um, the pay here okay so these are just some things I'm throwing out there so you guys can realize how much GoPuff has changed and how downhill it has went however I do want to say with all of the bad news about GoPuff as an independent contractor you should not be complaining about these apps there are so many apps that you can do you need to diversify and put as many different apps on your phone that you can so that you can make whatever money that you need to make for the week to get by in life. So that is your responsibility. We know these apps are not loyal to us. So let's, you know, not be 100% all in with one app. I think that's pretty much all the news that um, I have to give to you about GoPuff. But I just wanted to go over the changes so that people who are new to GoPuff are signing up super excited, ready to go, don't get confused. And I'm sitting on a squeaky chair again, I'm sorry. I'll pull up my old video and just see what the freak I was talking about. I always get asked is how does payout work? So this is how payout works. On my how does payout work? Okay, so payout works differently now because they do use stripe payout actually i do have to compliment gopuff on the payout the payout works better you get paid quicker and earlier than you would before and there's no like guessing what you're gonna get paid um at midnight on monday or sunday night you'll see your full pay in the app and then on 
Monday night, Tuesday morning, it is sent to your bank and you get paid fairly early. Depends on your bank. I think the latest it would be would be like Wednesday or Thursday, but I get paid on Tuesday morning. Question as well. Can people ride along with you? So um, people still can ride along with you. You can also multi-app. I multi-app all the time with GoPup. I do not care, guys. And I need you guys to understand you're not going to get deactivated. At least I haven't, and I have not heard of anybody else getting deactivated from multi-app. You're more likely to get deactivated from GoPup if you turn on your app, leave, go home for two hours, and don't do one delivery. I'm just saying, I mean, you don't have to push it. I push the envelope because I'm like... Okay, go up a slow, I'm about to go do some Ubers in between. But you don't have to do that, I'm not telling you to do that. And it is possible you, I could get deactivated for it. And I literally wouldn't care though, because go Puff is not my number one, okay? Where can I print my pay stubs? UKG Pro. Okay, pay stubs are no longer in UKG Pro. They are on Stripe. Um, I haven't personally used the system to download a pay stub because I barely work for GoPuff, but I do know that that is where all your pay information is stored, so you would have to get it off the Stripe app and possibly email yourself a stub or something like that. Next question is kind of the same as the last question. What if I have an emergency? Can I leave? Can I same thing, emergency, you can leave. You're an independent contractor. Um, that means that you make the rules, okay? Yes, they give you the platform, but as far as what you need to do for you, that's what you do. And if you're a W-2, this does not apply to you because I know there are facilities that are W-2 drivers. So I don't know about that. Ask your warehouse. <laughs> I'm sure you guys could work something out. It is, what if I don't show up to my shift? What, what? Same thing, if you don't show up to your shift, they send you an email letting you know, we noticed you didn't show up to your shift, this could have went to another driver, blah, blah, blah. And then what I've heard is that um, they will suspend you from scheduling. And then after that, if you still schedule things once you get back on the platform and they're not suspended from scheduling anymore, which doesn't matter now, but they will just deactivate you. All the time is on demand driving. Is it worth it? This is um, I still say on-demand driving is not worth it unless you are in a busy area. However, like I said earlier in this video, they are transitioning to on-demand delivery. So it's going to be like how when you turn on Uber Eats or DoorDash and then a ride comes to your phone. Um, I truly believe that. That is not confirmed. That's just my own theory. I think that's what they're moving towards. If you want to drive on-demand, you can. I don't recommend it, but... It's ultimately up to you. Using bots for scheduling. Um, I'm not 100% sure about this, but I don't think bots are a thing anymore because of the new schedule system, unless they're somehow going in and grabbing the schedules, the pre-schedules for people. But I don't think people can use bots now because of how the new scheduling system is, but I could be wrong. I don't know, I don't use them, so I wouldn't know. Okay, so I think those are pretty much the questions I wanted to address. Um, scheduling, pay, um, on demand, the most important thing. Lastly, I did at the end of that video go over pros of GoPuff. And honestly, there are more cons than pros now, unfortunately. It's just really sad the route that GoPuff has taken. I understand though, as a business, they have to reserve their cash and they can't just be spending like Congress. So yeah, that's pretty much what I wanted to go over with you guys. If you're new to GoPuff and you're expecting to make crazy money every week, it's probably not going to be like that for a while. So just be prepared for that. Uh, between scheduling, pay cuts, bonus cuts, things like that. It's just not the same anymore. If you can get hours, it is a good add on. I'm averaging like 200 bucks extra a week with them to 250. However, this last week I didn't get any hours. So I won't be making anything next week because I'm not going to go on demand. That's just not something I'm personally going to do with them. I don't know. There's nothing else. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Um, let me know if you're still doing GoPuff, if it's still profitable in your area. I know in my area, it's not really. There's just way too many drivers. And if you guys don't know, I am the one to blame for all of the drivers signing up. Apparently, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, if you guys don't know about that drama, um, go watch my old GoPuff videos. But but anyways, guys, I'm not going to even get into that. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And also, check out my other videos because I go over different side hustles you can do to supplement your income to make over $1,000 a week. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye!